Good afternoon. Welcome to Judy in her camper van called Verity, session number three. And today I thought I would make an orange drizzle cake. Now, I use such a simple recipe. So basically, everything's already weighed out. And you just have to remember, if you want to do this, it's eight ounces of self-raising flour, eight ounces of caster sugar, eight ounces of Lurpak. I always use Lurpak, or you can use softened butter. I use Lurpak because there's no palm oil in it. And in here, and, and a little bit of um, vanilla essence. So it's all in one, everything's in there all together. And then I'm now going to add in four eggs already cracked. And I'm gonna to have to apologize for the noise now because I've actually got an extension lead into the camper van so I can whisk this all together. So hopefully it's not making too much noise and it's ever so quick, you just blend it all in. I don't know if you can see behind me, we have the three bears now. We have little bear, big bear and old bear. So they come in to see me, they, they come and join me in the camper van when I do my cooking. So I'm just going to turn that off because I'm going to add just a tiny, tiny bit of milk just so it's not too dry. And of course, I'm going to add in some grated um, orange zest. I used one of those really big oranges. As you can see, it's all squeezed and um, been zested. And I'm um, just going to carry on mixing that together until it all comes together to make a nice, nice um, cake mixture which when I was little I used to like licking out the bowl and my children like licking out the bowl when they were little and now my grandchildren who I haven't seen for quite a long time now apart from on FaceTime I'm just going to add a little bit more milk now, I don't want it to be too dry sorry about the noise but basically it's nearly there so in there's the flour, the sugar I'm just going to let the um, li little bits um, come off the mixer so not to waste any. And then just hold on a minute. I'm just going to sc scrape around, scrape around the edge. So it's as you can see, it's made a really nice cake mixture, not too dry. I already have prepared a, a loaf tin uh, with with um greaseproof paper in. Um, it's a very old um, loaf tin. Um, this was my mum's um, so she had it quite a long time. I, it might have even been my nanny's um, but it said it's a nine and three quarter inch loaf tin. So once that's all in there, once all the mixture's in there, sorry I'm, I'm blocking with the bowl. Didn't think that out very well did I? Um, we basically squidge it all the way around into the into the bowl, into the um, loaf tin, and when it's all in, I then um, I'm going to cook it in the in, put it in the cottage, and bake on a 180 um, 